How to transfer your Shopify store to another Shopify store. Tips and tricks. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can take your Shopify store, which I have one over here. It is called Pink Sakura. I've set it up like this. However, I have another alternative store and it looks like a blob. So this store is non-designed. I haven't really gotten the time to design this. So how can I transfer my Shopify store from one to the other? Now, this can be done in multiple different ways. I will be explaining how to do each one of these. So let's jump right in. Now, the first and most obvious answer is to duplicate your store and save a code file. To do this, simply log on to your Shopify dashboard of your preferred store. Now, once you have opened up your preferred store, you can click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store and then click on themes, you will see your current theme and your current store view. So this is what our store currently looks like. Now I can click on these three dots on the right side or the three ellipses and I can see the option to duplicate this store. Now, if I duplicate this, this will store it in the theme library and I can keep a duplicated version of my own store in the same store to later on use. This is in the case where you are making some risky changes in your store and you want to keep the original version. However, we are looking to transfer it. So to be able to transfer it, you can click on download theme file and then click on send email and your theme file, which basically as the way your store is set up will be sent to your own email and you can access that theme file from your mailbox then you can download that and upload that into your new store however there are multiple different applications paid and free that can help you in setting up your store ownership from one to the next now for this we are going to be using an app and that is the most easiest way that i found to do this because downloading theme files can sometimes not be as efficient as using an app and the app can also transfer things like products orders all of your store settings including header footers menus and all other images media files that you have set up so let's jump right in now to do this, the first thing we're going to do, and we have to do this on both of our stores. So I'll open up both of our stores and I'll show you guys how you're supposed to do this. So go into settings on the bottom left, go into apps and sales channels, and then click on Shopify app store. Once you click on the Shopify app store, the app store will open up. Now you are going to search for transfer store. Now, once you search for transfer store, you're going to find there are quite a few different applications you have a trans store which is specifically built to for shopify this is a language translator you have magento migration app you have section store theme sections you have s store stock is store list but the one that you're looking for is called duplify duplify has a free plan available and is really easy to use when you're transferring stores now, if you scroll down, you will see on the free version, you can run five products for export. However, if you are looking for complete exportation of over a thousand events per month, then you can opt for their starter plan starting at $79 a month. Now, I'm going to click on install. Now, simultaneously, you can also open up your other store. So you're supposed to download this application and install it completely on both of your Shopify stores. So right now we're installing this on Pink Sapphire. Once this is completed in my other tab, I will again follow the same steps. So going into settings on Pink Sakura, I'm going to go into my apps and sales channels, open up the Shopify app store. Once I open up the Shopify app store, I'm going to again search for Duplify or store migration and then click on the application. You're going to download the same application. So over here, this is on my first store and now this is being installed on my second store. Both our stores now have this application. Now it's time to transfer. So I want to transfer this store. I'll show you guys again. This is Pink Sakura and uh, onto Pink Sapphire over here. So firstly, I'll go into Pink Sakura and then on the left panel, I'm going to find my apps and I'll find Duplify. Click on Duplify over here. Once you click on Duplify, click on New Export on the top right and you will see the option to connect stores. 
Now you will have two options if you want to export this data out or if you want to export data to the store. So I want to start data and this is the store where my data will originate from. So this is my OG store. Now I will copy the store key from the other store. So go into your other store and this is why I like to keep them open simultaneously because it makes it easy to go between. Now from my pink sapphire store, I'm going to copy this as the destination store. Copy this little lingo or keyword over here and then paste that in the destination store unique key. By default, it will display the store name and you should match this that if this is your other store's name or not. So make sure to do that and you can enter a notification email. We're going to do that like this. Now, once you do that, you can see Duplify in action and start a full export, or you can start with a free demo where five products will be exported to your destination store. Click on start demo over here and your export will now be in progress. And once the export is in progress, you will see that in a couple of seconds, some of your products will be transferred onto the other store. However, once you have waited a couple of seconds, you have to choose your export option. So what features would you like to transfer from one store to the next? You can also leave out certain features which you might not want. So if I don't want my meta fields to be transferred, I can choose to skip that part because that is not necessary for the establishment of our new store. We're going to wait a couple of seconds for this store transfer to be completed. So only in around 20 seconds, it has completed the demo. And once the demo has been completed, if I open up my secondary store, I should be able to scroll down and you guys can see I have uh, a bunch of different products added. I previously have imported these together, so I have duplicates of my product. But once I've done that, I can click on start full export. Now, in even the free version, you can do certain imports. And you guys can see you have your export options if you want to add your product and you can also choose the status you want to import your products in. So if you want your imported products to be imported as drafts or active product and you can also ex exclude duplicates from export. So if you have duplicates like I just did, you can also choose to remove those or not make them get duplicated. Then you can also add product filters if you only want a certain collection or category of products to be imported. Below that, you also have collections, customers, orders, content files, active theme page. So if I want my entire theme page, which means your website or your storefront to be replicated. Once you have chosen all of the imported features you want, you can click on start export and choose your plan on Duplify to get started. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.